The Bard of Assam, the Jaja Bard, the legendary Dr. Bhupen Hazarika, who is revered across generations and beyond borders. It was only on September 8th that the state paid rich tributes to Bhupenda as he is fondly referred to on his birthday. But what we are going to show you now is indeed very shocking. Well, what you see on your screens is painful to say the least. A statue of late Bhupen Hazarika has been kept in a mud field area surrounded by trees and bushes near Tiloy Nagar close to Moran and about 100 meters from the highway. This indeed is a sorry state of affairs and the visual surely does put up several questions on the part of Dibrugarh district administration to take stock of the situation and do the needful at the earliest. Meanwhile, our colleague Joydeep Hazarika spoke to News Live Chief Managing Editor Sayyid Zareed Hussain who had posted a video of the statue on social media. Let's listen in. I am now being joined by News Life Chief Managing Editor, uh, Sayyid Zareed Hussain. Sir, uh, welcome to Northeast Life. Thank you so much for talking to us, sir. Sir, today uh, you, uh, you, posted, uh, you made a Facebook post in which you have shared a photo of, 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 of Assam's legendary bard, Dr. Bhupen Hazarika. These are photos of, of a statue of Dr. Bhupen Hazarika in the middle of nowhere. We, be, uh, we believe you have been traveling today. You, you saw this statue uh, uh, sir, somewhere in, in, in Dibrugarh, sir. So please tell us about, uh, about the location and, 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 and where did you find this statue, sir? See, I was on my way from Dibrugarh to Guwahati when I noticed a statue of Dr. Bhupen Hazarika somewhere near, near Moran. Okay. Is, if I come from Dibrugarh site, it will be a few kilometers before Moran, okay. and the place's name is Tiloy Nagar. Okay. Uh, on my left, I saw a statue of Bhupen Nazarika, which is about, say, 100 feet away from the highway. Oh. And the statue is located in the middle of, uh, like, you know, all forests and thick bushes all around. Okay. And, and there is no road, and it's a low-lying area. It's full of uh, slush and mud. And okay. I was like, you know, slightly bemused and I stopped my vehicle and, and got down to see exactly. So I had no idea as to who put up that statue there and why was it put up and if it was put up, why was there no uh, barricade or boundary, why there is not a approach road to the studio, uh, mm. to the statue, all these things crossed my mind okay. and, and I didn't have any answer so I posted it on the Facebook with a uh, with a like you know request to the Dibrugar district administration that it is an utter disregard and disrespect shown to Bharat Ratan Dr. Bhupen Nazarika. So I personally believe that like you know this thing shouldn't be done okay. if at all it has to be done it has to be done properly with some planning. So so it's a wastage of public money whoever has done it and and also just not just money. It's also this showing disregard to Dr. Bhupen Hazarika. Oh, what do you think sir, sir, can be done about it? Like what is the way forward to, see, uh, for see, as a remedy? See, thing, I think, see, if, if see, you cannot just remove the, the there, there can be two things. You can take out the, the statue and put it up somewhere else because okay. the statue per se looks nice. Okay. So, or else if, if something has been planned, then there should be a proper uh, approach road built to the statue, there has to be a total fencing. There has to be some uh, some element of uh, like you know a shade or something where people can just uh, sit down and like you know just look at the statue or whatever. But has something has needs to be done. Either the district administration can take the hmm. whole statue and set it up somewhere else, put it up somewhere else, hmm. or that particular place it needs to be like you know done up and. Uh, Something needs to be done so that people can go and pay their respects or even look at the statue or sit by the side, take photographs, whatever. Okay, thank you so much for talking to us, sir. That was Sayyid Zareed Hussain talking to us on Northeast Life.